On a long stretch of road in the city of Torrance sits a trailer, and it looks like it was placed there by mistake until Chris Pine pulls in. He's here to fill up his tank, but the engine you're hearing isn't pumping gasoline. It's filling up his Volkswagen bug with biodiesel. People have to understand this. There's always a confusion. You don't have to change the car to make it ready for the biodiesel. All you have to do is fill up your tank with biodiesel if you've got a diesel engine and then use it. So if biodiesel is greener, cheaper per mileage, and any car with a diesel engine can use it, then why isn't everyone using the fuel? For one thing, it can smell a little funky. For a while there, uh, one company was getting a, a large allotment of walnut uh, 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 oil from food processors. And so our fuel kind of smelled like, uh, you know, Roscoe's <laughs> house of uh, chicken and waffles, you know. <laughs> the other problem is there aren't many gas stations that carry biodiesel. Pine is the co-director of the co-op and explains why he started the business. The reason we got into biodiesel is my son, who was 14 at the time, was helping my wife investigate new cars. And she settled on wanting to get the uh, Volkswagen New Beetle. And he convinced her that she would have a, a peppier, more interesting car to drive uh, if she got the diesel engine, because the diesel engine provides uh, more pickup and torque and acceleration. Uh, and he was trying to convince me how wonderful it was by saying, and Dad, we can make biodiesel in the backyard. And I said, no, we can't. Pine says his choices were to build the co-op or buy gallons of vegetable oil from Smart and Final. Now, he and his family fill up their three cars at the trailer station. The funny thing is, right around the corner is ExxonMobil's headquarters. We are in the belly of the beast, and we say, <laughs> Sometimes it seems easier to just pull into a gas station and use regular diesel fuel. But Pine says every little bit helps. Um, but it was the renewed interest of my son and of his contemporaries that really brought home to me that we in the older generations have to support improving their world because we can't just leave them with debt. We've got to leave them with inspiration.